Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create rolling credits in PowerPoint 2010. So first, here's my PowerPoint working space. And let's say I want to create some rolling credits at the end of my presentation, just like in the movies, where you see the credits for who produces and who directs and so on listed at the end, scrolling from the bottom of the screen up to the top. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is to have my text ready. And here in this slide here, I've got two uh, sets of text. Over on the left-hand side, I've got a text box with the credits that I want to roll from the bottom to the top of the screen, just like in the movies. And then after those credits have scrolled away, I'd like my second text box here, an alpha video production in this case here, to be displayed in the center of my screen so that I'm not left with a blank screen. First off, adding in, let's do the scrolling credits for the black text on the white background over here. First thing I need to do is select the text box, so I just click on the outside of the box here like this. And across the ribbons across the top, I want to select the animations ribbon, so I just click on that. And I want to choose to add an animation. So that's the blue star button over here. So when I click on add an animation, I get many options listed here. Now the one I want to have is in the more entrance effects section down here at the end. So I click on that. And in this there are many, many options, subtle, moderate and exciting. And the credits one is here in the exciting on the bottom right hand side. So select credits here, click on OK. And uh, my text will now be animated. And I want to make some changes to this animation. If you look over towards the top right hand side uh, for the timing uh, section on the animations ribbon, you can see that this animation will start on a click. So I'm going to change that so that it comes up immediately by itself after the slide is displayed. So I'm going to select after previous. The duration is quite long here at 15 seconds, so I'm going to reduce that down to 10. And now my animation uh, can take place. So in order to take this place in workspace view, I'm going to click on the animation pane option up here, which displays the animations over on the right hand side. Now I've already added this animation here, which is going to move this text for me. To see how this works, let's click on the play button, and the animation text that we have here is moving from the bottom of the screen up to the top of the screen, and it will be scrolled away. So that's how that particular animation will work. After that has scrolled away, I want this second piece of text to appear after the text is gone. I don't want it sitting there while my credits are rolling. So I'm going to add in an animation for this. I'm going to just make this a simple fade in animation. Select that. And I'm going to choose in the timing section up here at the top, I'm going to change this from animating on a click to after previous. So that it will appear straight afterwards. And you can see in the uh, Gantt chart style display here that the um, second animation will appear after the first one has completed. So now if I play this um, slide here by choosing the play button, first of all I have a blank slide but my text starts to scroll immediately. So it's moving once again from the bottom to the top of the screen. And once it hits the top of the screen, the second animation will appear in the center. Finally, what I'd like to do is to get this exactly like in the movies. I want to move my text into the center of the screen. So this is where it gets a little bit awkward because one text box is going to be placed over the other. So let me move the scrolling text first into the middle. And now I would like my second box to be up here in the dead center of the screen. So let me place it there. So now if I choose to go to full screen mode, I click on this. I've got my white background with my text slowly scrolling up the screen. I can change the speed of this by just ch changing the duration. And once the text is scrolled by, my final message has appeared, and that will stay there until you end the slide show. If you want to, um, to have a bit more like the movies, perhaps try white text on a black background. I'll just run this version here. It's the, exactly the same slide with exactly the same text, only this time moving a little bit faster and with the message appearing at the end of the screen as before, a little bit more professional looking than um, black text on a white background. So that's how you create rolling credits in PowerPoint 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank, for, thank you for your attention.